What's going on guys? I wanted to make a quick video. I haven't dropped a video in a little bit, in quite a couple days. I'm actually here in Boston right now. Came back, even though I was just back here a month ago. Honestly, just there's nothing like spending quality time with the family and loved ones. So I came back for a little bit, picked up this BMW. BMW. Wow, I can't believe I just said BMW. I'm so used to my car back home. Didn't really have a topic for this video, but I still wanted to you know, kind of get a message out there. Me and my business partner, Samir, both came down and we actually decided to put together this workshop. Literally from one day to another, we just decided to kind of come together and put together an environment where people from our hometown can kind of come together and learn, not only from us, but also some of the things that we've learned from other people and other mentors. And literally we decided to have this workshop completely free. Honestly, just inviting anyone that wants to come down and learn about business, personal development, growth overall. It's crazy because after announcing it, we got tons of inquiries and not only inquiries, but also registrations. Like we honestly kind of screwed up because we didn't have a system in place to kind of cap off the amount of people that could actually come to the free event. We rented out, uh, it was last minute, so we couldn't get that big of a place. We rented out an office space and it can fit about 30 to 40 people once we were launched and released like the uh, application form that people fill out to kind of register for the workshop we had over a hundred registrants it was absolutely insane we kind of ran into a little problem where we had a lot more people register that can actually even come and so we had to let everybody know like we are going to have to have it first come first serve because you know obviously have the issue of so many people registering for the event so that's kind of the problem we have it's a good problem though <laughs> You know, after having this workshop, I was also talking to a few of my friends about just entrepreneurship in general, right? And like trying out other opportunities. I have, I know people that do Forex here. I know people that have regular jobs, people that do sales, things like that. But when it comes to trying anything new out, there's this like mental barrier that's kind of holding us back when it comes to trying something new out because once whenever it comes to trying something brand new that we have never tried out that we don't really know anyone else that's really doing it for example for anyone to start trying to do e-commerce let's say right it's a lot harder for you to even fathom starting your own e-commerce business or social media marketing business or affiliate marketing business whatever kind of business you know if you don't really know anyone that even does it in person let me clarify on that in person it's a lot harder to just listen to people that do it online right because obviously like online anybody can record a video and put anything up but when you actually know someone that's doing something in person like you can actually fathom and see yourself doing that and learning whatever it is that opportunity is because you know somebody like in person in real life that like does it not that people that are online aren't in real life but it's a lot easier to understand and believe and be able to envision yourself doing something when you can actually connect with someone like in real life and talk to them and ask them like you do this like how's it going how did you learn all that stuff right so that's actually why i was completely down for this workshop because i know for this workshop our goal is to obviously help out not only the community of boston but we are planning on also doing workshops just like these in different states right i think what this concept of having these workshops is going to do is is going to make it so that a lot more people can actually see what's really possible because i know for me for a fact that you know and not everybody is like this like some people just see things online and like they're sold right away and like they can actually understand that they can actually do the same thing like if they learn how it works and you know they try it out like they they can do it but there's some people that just aren't there's some people that will forever be on the fence unless they actually like physically meet someone that does whatever it is they want to learn and there's nothing wrong with that obviously that's how i was when i was back in boston before i got started entrepreneurship i knew that people could make money online but i didn't know how i had absolutely no idea how people were making money online and so it literally took for me to fly 
out to California for my first business event to actually like even wrap my head around and learn about all the possibilities that there is to life, right? About business and really starting my own business and really wrap my head around different kinds of business opportunities that I could be a part of. I mean, I'm confident that the people that are gonna come to the workshop are gonna get tons of value, but my goal for this video for you guys is to let you guys know that if right now, like you're just getting started or you wanna get started or you know, you're just on the fence, well, don't worry because a good amount of people are on the fence as well and it are in your situation. I was myself. I mean, it honestly just takes like, you know, learning not only from like online and seeing people online do it, it also takes sometimes like meeting people in real life that do what it is you wanna do. For example, when I went to my first business event, you know, I got to meet real entrepreneurs that ran real businesses and I got to learn from them and that obviously made it a lot easier and gave me a lot more confidence in actually starting my own business. So for those of you guys that are watching this video make sure that you guys stay tuned for the next workshop if you guys would be interested to come by it would be a live workshop but obviously for those of you guys that can't really make it and travel at the moment no big deal you can also check out some of the other videos that i have made you know on the channel and obviously learn a ton from them again this video will probably be more like something like beginner advice for like beginner entrepreneurs because i know for a fact when it comes to getting started that's like the hardest thing i talk to my friends down here and like sometimes i talk to them and i show them like the numbers of like you know how much our business generates every single month i show them screenshots of like our shopify store numbers and i show them the different sources of income that we have from different opportunities but sometimes for them like they still can't like you know wrap their head around it all or like really make the jump to learn more about the opportunity or commit to you know figuring it out even though like i tell them like how to do it and things like that i know that for a fact their missing link is like not the in person because now i've met up with a few of them but them is like spending more time just doing it actually and just making the jump you know and doing it so for those of you guys that are watching if you think about just getting started honestly associate pain to continuing to do what you're currently doing so for example if you're working a job that you hate right now if you're doing something you don't like and you live in the life that you don't want to live well what you have to do is associate so much pain to that life that you then have nothing but reward associated with learning a new business opportunity or learning a new skill or just trying something new out and that'll make you make the jump because for me personally it honestly took getting sick and tired of being dead broke i come from a very poor family i was raised by a single mom here in dorchester it's a part of boston it's like the poorest part of boston honestly i didn't have the resources and i wasn't living how i wanted to live and that sparked me like i just got sick and tired of living that lifestyle and that's what made me actually want to make the jump and just fully commit to learning new skill sets and learning how to actually make money and what it took to actually just change my life around and you know obviously i'm not crazy ahead of anyone or like super successful there's people way more successful than me but i've definitely made a lot more progress than where i was two years ago before i actually moved out of boston so i don't want to make this video too drag along i just wanted to share that with you guys for those of you guys that are just getting started don't worry obviously if you're on the fence just take the time to honestly just analyze what it is you want to do sometimes what happens is that when people are on the fence and you hear about these different opportunities they don't really look into what opportunities would actually make sense to them right because there are some opportunities that would make some a lot more sense for some people more than others and so something that helps that a lot is really narrowing down and kind of going through the different opportunities that are out there whether it be like sales using sales to fund another opportunity or if you already have the resources starting you know like an e-commerce business or whatever the case may be you know understanding which is a good fit for you does make it a little bit easier for you to at least, at least narrow down which opportunities you try out let's say the first thing you want to do is is learn about all the opportunities that you can do because obviously that's super important if you don't even know what opportunities you can do well you're obviously behind now with the internet there's no excuses zero so learn what kind of opportunities are out there you know you have sales online businesses you know physical businesses whatever the case may be from there then narrow down which ones are a good fit for you right depending on obviously how much resources and what kind of investment or what is ne necessary to actually get started in the opportunity and is that opportunity good for you yourself as like someone that's like more introverted or is it better for you as a person that's extroverted you know because it all depends right and i don't want to confuse you guys but basically like it's easier to know if you should do sales if you know that you're an extroverted person and you naturally like talking to people because sales involves naturally wanting to talk to people and that's what i mean by figuring out which opportunity would be good for you so i'm here in uh this area in boston it's called south bay it's like a plaza uh, i came to pick up something real quick this was the 
Mercedes I picked up block out. I mean, I don't even care about the license plates because it is a rental. I think it's like a C300 or something like that. Yeah, C300. I'm honestly not showing that to like brag or anything. Just showing you guys like what's possible. If you guys haven't already, check out the rest of the channel. Show love. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.